Hey, hey, welcome back. It's Michael from grtraining.com and I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I was very, very busy recently. That's why I haven't recorded a video for you for a very, very long time. But, you know, I hope this is going to change now. So now, welcome to this like first video. I've decided to create a mini series. So this is going to be the first video of the mini series about the plugins because a lot of a lot of a lot of you is keep asking me on our Facebook group or uh, just just emailing me, texting me, or even you know the comments on YouTube, and people want to know about plugins. You know so. I've decided to record this uh, video, three mini series about my favorite plugins. So we're going to talk about three plugins because it is a little bit, it could be a little bit, you know, longer than normal. I decided to split it on three. All right. So before we're going to start, just to let you know, you are looking at my Jira server just because uh, probably you're not aware about that but just to let you know just to let you know that plugins what i'm using some of them some of them like the the reporting tool i think is still not available on the cloud version so you know probably my opinion about the cloud i think it's just like a like a toy to be honest because uh it's very very limited and and for i say enterprise solutions sooner or later you're gonna hit a wall you're gonna hit a wall with jira cloud that's why we're gonna talk only this video is dedicated to jira server how do you know what versions i'm using very simple uh, basically this is not the latest version uh, when i'm recording this video this is not the latest version of jira that's because oh, I've been a little bit too busy. And however, you know, we are using 7.9. So if your GR looks like this, you know, maybe, maybe if you've managed to upgrade to 7.10, uh, they just refresh basically the, the interface. So they're very, very similar, but it's just a little bit like a brighter uh, blue color on the top, but it's still very similar. So this is actually the server version. Yeah, so just to con just to confirm, you know, so if, you, if you're still confused which version I'm using, Always, if you scroll it down, you're gonna see a version in the server version. I'm just gonna show you in a second. In the server version, you're always gonna see that, uh, basically that banner, which is actually referring which version you're using. So just to show you now, because it is uh, important, I'm gonna show you now. Right, just to really show you very quickly on this is a um, cloud version, yeah? So it clearly is a distinct difference, basically, you've got this many on the left hand side but i was i still believe you know you can actually switch up that x uh, that's 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 how they call it um experience and some versions still could, could look similar to the server version but uh just that you know we're not going to talk about the cloud this time we're going to only talk about the server all right so let's go back so let's talk about these plugins you know what plugins what plugins because uh you know, as I told you before, for that really professional, professional usage, you gonna need some plugins because Jira without plugins uh, is still great. You know, it's still a great piece of software, but I'm gonna just show you, just reveal what we're gonna talk about and you're gonna see the full power, what you can do with that. Okay, so those plugins are first. Let's go to navigate to add-ons because I've got a few add-ons. Uh, I think they call it apps right now. So absolutely my favorite is, of course, uh, Script Runner, yeah? So navigate, manage apps. And it, it's the top davis, you know? It is, in my opinion, absolutely must have. And this video is, is dedicated to this plugin. All right, let's talk about another one. Another one is, of course, Portfolio. Probably my license expired, but that's all right. I'm just gonna uh, renew it. Uh, portfolio. So basically, just let's 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 just talk briefly about them. And number three, number three, like the most important plugin for me, you know, maybe not for you, is absolutely my favorite reporting tool, which is called Arsenal Data Plane. I have a, a fully working license, so in the next video, I'm gonna basically show you so what this plugin is doing. So so Data Plane is very very powerful reporting because in my opinion you know reporting in jira 
is a bit lacking you know it is a little problem because for instance you cannot save your settings you know so every time when you just spend some time setting up you, you're going back and the settings every single time restarting to default they still you know she has still got very powerful reports but you know sooner or later especially for enterprise solutions you need a little bit more uh, than uh, default hill reporting and that is the data plane i'm i'm planning to uh, record the video number three of our mini series okay so we've got portfolio which is going to be number two because that's how we use the order on the admin uh, script runner and data plane all right so let's now talk uh, why basically why not jira cloud because First of all, portfolio, I don't think is a problem. I think I've got portfolio on my uh, cloud version and it's very, very similar. It's like almost, almost identical. So which is, which is good news, but that's it. That's it. If we're talking about the script runner, yes, there is a version of script runner for a cloud, but it's very, very, very limited. And it's not because, you know, the, 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 the developer is lazy or something like this. No, no, no. They actually done amazing, amazing, amazing job for, for the cloud. But unfortunately, Atlassian is not providing such a rich API. So there is very limited what uh, developers can do with basically Jira Cloud. That's why, yes, there is a script learning for a cloud. But in my opinion, compared to the server version, is just is just very very basic. You can do very 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 simple things, very basic stuff. So uh, that's the problem. And same about the well, same actually. Uh, data blend is even different because, as far as I know, at the moment there is no such thing like data plane for uh, cloud. Maybe that's gonna change, you know. Uh, but at the moment there is no such. Thing. All right, so let's talk about the script runner. So what the script runner is? Well, uh, it's like a Swiss army knife for Jira. It could be, it could be, but it is also extremely powerful comp uh, the plugin which can automate a lot of stuff, yeah? So it supports uh, very, very, very actually, uh, I'm start, start liking in Groovy a lot. It's supporting actually link program which is very close to Java, because as we know, uh, Jira is written in Java. And you can actually create, deploy your own script to post functions or the uh, custom buttons, or it's just a lot, a lot of actually things. So, so script runner, well, yes, in, unfortunately, could be very, very, very complex. You can build amazing stuff. But however, you know, in other other way, script runner also could be uh, very simple because they've got pre-configured, pre-built scripts and you can use it as the Swiss Army knife for your end. I'm going to give you a few examples in just a second. So, okay, I've got a basically we could just clear explanation about this plugins of course if you have your own a uh, favorite yeah let me know because you know i as you can see i've got a little bit more than uh, two i've got automations but we're not going to talk about this for this this actually for us. i've got also jsu and like the x-ray so that i'm planning also record a separate video about the x-ray because that is my favorite plugin for the qa all right so now let's talk about script runner so when you install script runner of course you can have a fully working 30 days uh, demo versions which i'm highly highly uh, recommending you know to, to test it because 30 days is, is good enough you can you can test it and also you know script runner is not that expensive it's not that expensive you know my jerry did demo is for 10 users gives me 10 dollars but if you're planning to install on a, a larger, it's not going to be that expensive. Okay, so I'm going to show you now what's going to happen when you install Script Runner. To be honest, if we go back to uh, the dashboard, it is not going to actually, there's no such thing like, you know, here portfolio because Script Runner doesn't have his own option, excuse me, in, in the menu. Yeah, so it doesn't have any any significant there's any, any significant changes into the look. Yeah, so even you're not gonna see this almost anywhere because you have to go deeper. All right, so let's go deeper. So let's go deeper. So basically, now let's navigate to add-ons, and this is one of the coolest actually scripts. Uh, which you, which which Travis is providing like out of the box. Look at this. If you go actually on the left hand side, you're gonna see the script runner got his own 
like a basically just like a, like a section yes with a few very very cool things but of course you know this is actually very uh, just like a demonstration video so i'm not going to go for everything but i just want to show you a few things so obviously you've got your own script console where you can deploy your uh, groovy scripts just to test it uh but we're going to talk now about the building scripts look at this now let's go to the building scripts and by default they've got something like a collection of that like, 20 and look at this you know some of them they are absolutely amazing you know for example like of the my biggest issue is because i'm using uh jira in in, in my in my daily actually daily daily job uh administrating jira instances uh, projects stuff like this for instance very often my um my clients asking me oh can we have a copy of a project, you know? Can we have a pro copy of the project with absolutely everything? So we're talking about the components, we're talking about the, um, we're talking about, for instance, versions, stuff like this. So yeah, in Jira, it is really hard to do it. You know, it's really, really hard to do it. Yes, of course, you can go and navigate to create, uh, go to, to, to do many, uh, create a project. And if you create a project based on a sample, well, not a sample, but like shared configuration, it will only copy the issue types and the workflow. The rest is 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 just it's just not gonna it's just not gonna copy, you know. So that is a kind of problem for some people, you know, especially if you are planning to have like let's say development version of the project, and you spend a lot of time configuring components, for example, because that is problematic in Jira components is just without script runner or you know and, and, and other plugins it's just not possible to copy and if you copy project you can actually clearly see what is happening not just the components the roles you know custom fields or custom fields issues you know versions SLS if you've got if you have a for instance like like me you know um Jira service desk yeah it can just copy in in a second in a second just going to select the project whatever you want put the information over here, run it, done, you know, and script is also amazing, blazingly fast. What else you've got, you know, we've got like this, I told you, told you just a bulk copy of SLA, so you can switch to different users. And my second most favorite, my second most favorite is to, where it is, where it is, dashboards and the filters, because, you know, if you, if you turn your mark, I've got a few very large, I look after a few very large instances of Jira, like five, 6,000 users. You know, people leaving company or new people coming or we've got new Scrum Masters or we've got, you know, whatever. And there is very, is in Jira by default, it's a little bit hard, you know, to be honest, copy the filters because you have to just like go one by one. And if someone's got hundreds, well, it's not, it's not actually that unusual. Uh, sometimes people got like, you know, 50, 60 filters because they created something for the last two years. Oh, it, oh my God, it is actually very hideous process. And if you've got a script around there, it is just one, really one, <laughs> one, one, one. It's like you're going to select uh, basically from user to user dashboards filters, just run it and it's done, you know, so you can do it in like three, four clicks. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. But what else you can use? You can use for scripted fields. So that is very powerful, very, very powerful. We're not going to talk about it because this is a little bit more advanced, you know, but if, again, uh, you can actually select a few uh, building scripts. Very, very, very cool. You've got also REST, you know, a response if you want to communicate between Jira, do two Jira. So, you know, you just want to communicate some external software. Absolutely no problem. So you can of course experiment with that but of course you know the most like one of the most the most powerful features for the script runner is post functions and validators so i'm gonna like basically create one example for you so let's go to the project which is called i don't know maybe we can use like whatever it doesn't really matter because script runner is working in in any <laughs> in any project doesn't matter which one is just supporting like the post function. So uh, let's open the project. My Jira is a bit slow today. So probably I need to move it from that open stack to AWS. And let's have a look at our workflow quickly because I don't know what workflow we got. So let's navigate on the left hand side to the project settings. 